Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week's video coming to you from sunny, although it doesn't look like it because I'm in the shadow of a high rise, downtown Bellevue. Uh, I haven't been here in a few weeks, but I'm back. Uh, also, speaking of back, uh, something I noticed, something I noticed. Uh, last weekend, my wife mentioned to me, you seem like you're in a bad mood. And I said, yeah, I kind of am. And I don't know why. And then I was thinking about it later on in the day and I was thinking, you know, I've been taking lots of photos lately, but not for myself. Uh, I've had a couple commercial projects uh, and they've been great. They've been uh, fun to do, but it's not the same as creating photos just for myself or to share with you all. So I realized I need to do that. I need to create photos. That's a really important part of um, my mental health, my creative health, my overall well-being. So I'm back in Bellevue. So thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Anyway, uh, today, uh, kind of inspired by a video I saw from uh, Faisal Westcott. I'll leave a link to that below where he was walking around in Boston downtown. Uh, and uh, he was doing a lot of reflection work uh, with uh, windows and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that a little bit. That's going to be kind of top of mind. I'll try and remember to be open to lots of other things. And then uh, the other thing I'm going to do today as far as constraints or thoughts is uh, this is going to be a video also about the 50 millimeter uh, F2 from Fujifilm, Fujinon, um, that I'm going to use as my primary lens today. Uh, and I did bring the Viltrox uh, 13 millimeter F1.4 and the Fujinon 70 to 300, just in case I need to be really wide or reach out and touch someone. So uh, I've, I'm going to use this one primarily, the, the 50 millimeter, and uh, the other ones will be back up if I need it. So I'm going to go take a walk, enjoy the sun before the rain comes in the next few days. It's been a weird spring in the Seattle area. Um, so I will see you on the other side of the photos. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Bye for now.
Well, there you have it. Another photo walk completed in downtown Bellevue, this time mostly using the 50 millimeter Fujinon uh, F2. So just a couple of thoughts about using this lens in this street photography kind of setting. And uh, for me, the 50 millimeter focal length is kind of a little too tight. So for example, when I was trying to do some of those reflection photos, I, I the angles weren't working. Uh, I was getting not enough of the scene uh, to see the reflection I wanted. Um, so it, it's a little too tight. Uh, I think the 35 or 23 would work a lot better or a 23 crop to 35 ish uh, for I think what I was thinking about doing that day. Having said all that, uh, it's a good lesson in adjusting to what you have. Uh, as I started creating photos on this walk, uh, I was kind of frustrated. I wasn't in the groove, wasn't feeling it. And then I found a couple photos, found a couple photos, and then I started feeling good about it. And then I start, had more success. Uh, so another lesson in, you gotta start somewhere. Gotta, the only way to get where you wanna go is through. And sometimes what you have to go through is not feeling great about it or not enjoying it or not feeling success. So, I hope you enjoyed the photos. I, I learned a few things, a reminder about uh, moving my feet, using a lens I don't often see with. Uh, so there was uh, a lot of learning here and I really am grateful for that. I really like this lens. It is, is tiny, it's super fast, it's ultra quiet and autofocus, um, but I don't know why I don't really use it all that much. That's something I've been pondering and why I've been holding off doing a review on it. Uh, it's a great lens, I have zero complaints about it. I think the reason I don't use it a whole lot is it's a focal length that I don't resonate with a lot. Uh, at 50 millimeters, so a 75 millimeter full frame equivalent, it's just not quite zoom and not quite telephoto, not quite standard. It's, it's one of those uh, in-between focal lengths that I don't really see at. So uh, it's harder for me to compose with this, but I do feel like I got a couple photos I'm, I'm pretty excited about. So glad to use this lens. It's definitely small, tiny, and uh, very discreet when you're out on the street. Ooh, there's a good uh, album title for your new, your new rock album. Discreet on the street. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think of the photos. Let me know what you think of this lens if you have it. i uh, love to hear your opinions. Love to share in the conversation about photos, photography, street photography, and just general experiences. So leave those comments below. Let's have a conversation. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. Secondly, thing you can help me with is if you enjoyed this video, please click on that uh, thumbs up, the like button. That helps train the YouTube algorithm about videos you find helpful, and then you'll see more of them. Also, what it helps this channel with is it will show videos to friends of yours and other people you might be connected with who also liked videos like this, so there's a greater chance of me meeting new people. Thank you, thank you. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. It helps grow the community, grow the neighborhood, and uh, we get to have lots of fun, I hope, in the future. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I uh, look forward to continuing these adventures together on YouTube land. And until I see you in the next video, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now. <laughs>